Hey everybody, what's going on? Another Photoshop CS6 tutorial, and I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. And have you ever like tried to use the selection tools and they were pretty much not working out in your favor? All the edges were jaggedy and you can't get a good uh, selection going on, but you basically have the whole thing selected. You got what you want selected, but it's kind of like crappy. So I'm going to show you how to fix that and we're gonna be using this uh, refine edge button that you can find in like all your selection tools um, so what I got over here is this um, this thing at the beach it's probably like a lifeguard station I bet but I have uh, made a selection on it and I used the um, quick selection tool along with the magnetic lasso tool to make a selection and if you look I zoom in to around here you can see that it's kind of like bumpy and up here it's not that great it's like jaggedy and stuff like that and wavy and uh, that's not what I want I want it to be nice and smooth and clean so let's go up here to the refine edge button and click um, you can find the refine edge button on basically any um, selection tool it's always going to be up there where you make them where you make the dancing ants or whatever those kind of selection tools so the dancing ants are these lines, that's what they're called. I don't know why they call them that, it's kind of funny though. Refine Edge. So then we get to this uh, screen. When you have the Refine Edge pop-up menu open, you're allowed to use your hand tool and allowed to use the zoom tool as well. So like this. So that's um, pretty handy and I like that about the tool. We've got a few different uh, view modes here. We've got um, what we originally had which was the marching ants I said dancing ants didn't I huh where did I come up with that alright we've got overlay which just lays, overlays it over a red background um, black white uh, black on white and then over top of your layers that you have so if I I can't do that but it's over if it's over top of the layers then you can um, view the layers and then you got your reveal layer. So I'm just going to stay with the marching ants so we can see how the selection changes off. So we got two buttons over here. We got show original, which is just going to sh show it with your original selection. Then we got show radius. If you click on show radius, nothing's going to happen for you in any of these modes right now. What you have to do is start um, using this ed edge detection. And if I move this radius up, you're going to see that the radius is moved. That, and this radius here gives like a little like tolerance kind of to the um, to your selection. And um, I pretty much have every, everything selected the way I wanted to. I don't need an, a radius. So I'm going to put this down to zero. I'm going to uncheck show radius. So you got a smart radius here. Oops. You got a smart radius here, and when you click that, it um, pretty much automatically puts on like the best radius that it thinks it should have. So if I click on that, now it's going to give me like the best radius that it thinks I should have. Not much is changing when I click on it, so I'm not too worried about it. If I go to show radius, um, it pretty much thinks I don't really need one, so we should be good. Now this is where we can start adjusting things. Right here in this adjust edge section. We've got a smooth button right here and um, that basically smooths out the edges. So let's uh, increase that. So here's what you want to keep an eye on. Keep an eye on this area right here all the way up to that like little roof. And on top of the roof you can see how the top of the roof is jaggedy. So ch keep an eye on that. And I'm going to increase my smooth it's increased it to 50% which might be a little too much so I increased it to 20 and it's kinda decent um, feather here creates like a feather um, it's new in CS6 so yeah, I don't know it creates like a soft edge so if I mess with that it's gonna push out my um, selection and make like a feathered edge which I don't want on this 
contrast um, sharpens the image or sharpens the uh, selection so it removes fuzziness so if I put that up a decent amount it's gonna start sharpening the corner so I got it at a hundred this is 100 and then this is 0 I'm going to put it up to 100 we got our shift edge which moves the edge uh, moves the selection outwards or inwards and I can see that my selection is on the inside of this object so I want to shift it outwards kind of like what the grow button does So 100% looks like it's it's doing good. It's going to capture all, everything, and uh, it looks like it's going to get some of the outside. But that's okay when we get some of the outside because of this next section down here called output. And um, this checkbox here called decontaminate colors helps take away the background bleed off of um, your object. So if I click on that. You can notice that in some areas, let me see if at the last time I was working on it, it did it up here a lot. So let's increase that. I'm trying to see if it does it anywhere. Let's turn this up. Well, there must not be too much bleed on this anymore. It changes the color a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, where did I just see the color? Yes, colors get changed. If I bring this down to zero. Well, they're not getting changed too much. Well, um, usually this takes the background color off, but we aren't getting too much background color on here. Maybe I have my shift up too high. Let's check that. No, that wasn't the problem. Well, I'm not getting too much background color anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, what it does is pretty much um, removes the background color around the edge by the percentage amount you have down here in the slider. Then down in the output too, we got a, a few different uh, selections here. Um, new layer will just create a, a new layer with your selected. Um, layer mask will um, create a layer mask for you we haven't gone over those yet selection we'll just keep your selection and then um, you got some other things here like new document and then some new layers with masks and everything like that then the option to remember your settings if you ever needed to do that again so I'm just gonna go to new layer I'm gonna hit OK and now what we have here is this cutout let me hold Z and back off and now we've got this thing cut out and it's fairly uh, decent. Oops, I don't want that. Fairly decent looking. So uh, that's how you use the refine edge. So um, use that for your selection tool. Make things make, make things a lot nicer. Oh man, just started pouring cats and dogs outside. It was just it was just like super super hot and super muggy out and all of a sudden it just started raining really hard so hopefully it doesn't really thunderstorm too much and hopefully because sometimes when it lightnings my uh, computer like just turns off but I do have it on a power strip so I'm not too worried about it so um, thanks for watching this one give me a thumbs up if uh, you like the video give me uh, a subscribe click if you guys want to see more so see you guys later have a good one